Welcome back to Community Conversations. I'm your host, Steve Mantis, and my guests today are Richard and Amy from the New Direction Speaker School. Welcome back to the show. Thanks. So we just got a little update of, about the, the, your core program, I guess it is, that 14-week program. Mm -hmm. So I understand you've got your graduation coming up soon. What happens at the graduation? Uh, yeah, the graduation is a really exciting event for us. So right now we have it booked uh, in City Hall Council Chambers. Right in the Council Chambers where the, the, the mayor and everybody sit. Yeah, that's right. Our graduates will be taking the place of the, the seats where the councillors sit. So they get to you know, kind of sit right up front and be the center of attention there. So it's going to be really nice. Um, it's going to be from about 6.30 to 9, 9.30 on December 13th. Uh, and what happens is we'll have kind of a light meal at the beginning to kind of uh, welcome everyone in. And then we'll kind of start our graduation ceremony. And so what that generally involves is that uh, each of our graduates through the whole kind of 14 week course has been building up uh, to their one big final speech. So it's about a, everyone gives a five minute speech as part of their uh, kind of personal graduation. And they kind of help educate um, each other, but also like more so the, the audience and the counselors that are gonna be in attendance uh, about the issues of social justice that have affected their lives. So we have people speaking on a really wide range of really important topics directly from their lived experience. Uh, and so after everyone gives their speech, uh, then everyone will get kind of a diploma, kind of certifying that they've completed this kind of 14 week rigorous program in public speaking. Um, and then they could just get to enjoy that with friends and family. So um, you talk about topics around social justice. What would be a few examples? What yes, would so people expect to hear at the graduation? Yeah, so we have a pretty wide range of topics that are being covered. Uh, everything to the, uh, the Indian Act, um, to the treatment of elderly women, to kind of the respect for uh, disabled people on buses, um, you know, all the way up to kind of poverty and speeding in the city and how that affects pedestrians. Uh, so there's a really, a really broad range of really important issues uh, and that touch on people's lives in very serious and significant ways. Um, and it gives everyone an opportunity to, to voice that in a public way. It's kind of both empowering for them, but extremely educational for everyone. I know I've definitely learned a lot just listening to the stories of the speakers over the course of the term uh, to how some of these issues that, you know, maybe didn't affect me as much, um, you know, on my day-to-day -day life, but that they have a really big impact on our community as a whole. Uh, so it's important for me and kind of for all of us to be uh, essentially educated by our, our graduates about these issues. And so, Amy, I understand you're going to use that opportunity to talk about the initiative in your neighborhood. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I'm really hoping is to uh, receive more support when we put on fundraisers and stuff that, uh, because, we're, like, as I said, we have no... Uh, well, we do have kind of funding through the multicultural, but we'd like to be, uh, we like to be able to have our own money to pay for the stuff that we want to do. And uh, right now we don't have enough um, money to pay for everything that we would like to do. Um, so yeah. this is an opportunity really to introduce what you're doing in your neighborhood really to the larger mm -hmm. city audience. Yeah, yeah, because we need, uh, we need quite a bit of things to be successful. Like even in our meetings, like we need like a flip chart, and uh, there's other office supplies that we that we need. And uh, we're uh, actually starting a newsletter, so we're hoping that we can get printers and ink. That's why we're fundraising is to get those things. And we need uh, computer towers uh, to do, to put the computers at the resource center and also to use for, um, for the documents that we need to type and print. Great. So Richard, how often does the program run? Uh, the program typically runs uh, twice a year. So we're having our graduation on December 13th, as we mentioned, and then we're going to have a new session of speaker school starting on February 14th in the new year. Um, so yeah, it'll kind of give everyone an opportunity to kind of go through uh, the course in February, and then probably we'll start another one um, in the fall of 2017. And I understand that the speaker school is offering some other programming besides that 14-week program. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Yeah, so we're really excited about uh, the new workshop program that we have. So this kind of came out of speaker school when we were talking to our alumni and they were kind of saying like they were they really excited about having these new speaking skills and getting involved in different advocacy work and organizations and things like that. Um, but they kind of needed, they didn't feel fully equipped to take that next step. So part of our workshop series is to essentially put on um, you know, single contained workshops where people can go once and learn a particular skill that will equip them to kind of take that next leap into being a part of an organization like what Amy's doing right now. So for example, in November, we had three workshops. Uh, one was on how to interact with the media, um, one was on financial literacy, and another was on group facilitation. So we thought those were kind of three skills that uh, if you were starting an organization like Amy is, that would be really useful to have, kind of how to get publicity for your organization, right? how to run meetings and kind of how to resolve any conflict that comes up, and then how to manage uh, you know, budgets or those kinds of uh, financial decisions that every organization needs to. So kind of through this workshop series, we're hoping to not just equip our students with the basic public speaking skills that they get in the main course, um, but to really equip them to become leaders in their community, to take uh, those kind of leadership roles in different uh, advocacy and NGO work um, that they then usually become involved with after their speaker school. And so those workshops you're talking about, who is invited to participate in those? Yeah, so we, uh, we kind of focus on targeting or inviting in our alumni, uh, but we also decided to open up to the public because there's a lot of people in the city uh, that could benefit from those types of skills development. Um, so we kind of we do that in tandem with different uh, partnerships we create with different organizations that can provide those skills. So for example, we worked with Net News Ledger to organize our media workshop. Mm -hmm. And we worked with the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario um, to organize our financial literacy workshop. So in that way, we can kind of bring in um, a big spectrum of the community and kind of and interact with our alumni uh, and also partner with community organizations that, are, that want to contribute in that kind of way. And how is the program funded there, that you can do all this stuff for free and, and not charge to participants? Yeah, well, right now we have a couple main sources of funding. Um, so one of them is through the city of Thunder Bay, which we're very thankful for. Um, another is through the United Way, which kind of contributes donations to our, organiz our organization. Um, and then we get um, uh, different kinds of organizations like the Public Service Alliance of Canada um, to donate some money as well as just individual donations. Um, so, you know, if you heard about our organization and like what we do, um, you can go to the website, speakerschool.ca, and find out more about us. Um, and then you, you have the ability to also donate um, to kind of keep our programs running and to kind of allow us to put on these workshops uh, in this inclusive manner that we don't have to charge for. And that's a charitable organization too, is it, for, for income tax purposes? Yeah, it's a yeah, registered charitable organization, and so you're eligible for uh, charitable tax receipts as well um, every time you donate. So, and people can get in touch. You mentioned the easiest way is, this, is the website, is it? Yeah, the easiest way is the website. It's uh, speakersschool.ca. Um, or you can give us a call uh, at 807-627-9136, um, which goes to the main speaker school phone. Uh, or you can email us at speakerschool at gmail.com. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you both so much for coming on. We're out of time. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. I encourage you to go to our Facebook page. We're always looking for ideas and suggestions and feedback for the show. Uh, and this is the last show of our season, so I want to wish everyone all the best for the holiday season and hope to see you all again in the new year. Stay safe.